Hello, it's Angela, and welcome back to my channel, Literature Science Alliance. Today we're going into my April TBR, which somehow became my OWL's Readathon TBR. <laughs> Fell down a rabbit hole there, but it looked really fun. So for those who don't know, I'll link the announcement video below, but you pick a career and then you figure out what classes you need to get your owls in. So this is obviously Harry Potter based, if you didn't know. So I'm going to be a Hogwarts professor because I want to be a professor one day in real life. And the qualifications for this career is I need to get my OWLs in Defense Against the Dark Arts and a class that I want to teach and additionally five other subjects. So I was waffling on if I wanted to be a potions professor or a charms professor, which was very reminiscent of my physics versus chemistry major discussion days. And like when I was going to college, I am going to choose charms, which I personally think aligns more with physics. Obviously potions is chemistry. So let's get into it. For my Defense Against the Dark Arts book, the prompt for this OWL was to read a book that is by or near the sea. So I'm going to read The Deep by River Solomon. I got this when it was on sale. I really enjoyed their work on kindness of ghosts. So I really want to get into this. It seems like such a cool premise with like mermaids and it just seems really cool. And I've been wanting to read it and this is the perfect excuse. All right, so for my charms class, I need to have my OWL there and that's going to be a book with a primarily white cover. So I'm going to do The Dragon Republic, which is the second book in the Poppy War, which if you watch my series TBR is perfect because I've been wanting to continue that series this um, spring season. And I am very ready to get back into this. And as you can see, the cover is primarily white. Now the five other subjects I'm going to take, I um, decided to do potions, which the prompt was to read a book less than 150 pages. So I'm going to read Becky Chambers to be taught if fortunate, which is also on the short li list for booktube SFF awards. So it's also a goal of mine for this month. So that's perfect. And for care of magical creatures, we're supposed to read a book that has beaks on the cover. So I have this is how you lose the time war with two beaks. And I know this is a repeat from last month's TBR, but I didn't get to it. It's still on the booktube SFF shortlist and I still want to read it. So hopefully I will this month. And for herbology, we're supposed to pick a book that starts with M because of some plant or herb that starts with M that I will not pronounce. Maybe I'll be nice and show the, the name, but they said A's and these are allowed. So I picked up a man called Ove. A lot of booktubers I watch have been talking about it lately, and I mentioned this in my New Year's tag that I want to get to it because my mom gave it to me to read a few years ago. I really liked um, the one work I have read, which was My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry. And also it seems like such a wholesome story of this old crotchety man who is this widower and then this family moves in and I think it just like changes everyone's life. And I could use a contemporary like that, I think. For astronomy, we're supposed to pick a book we're going to primarily read at night. And this was hard because I just like don't have a book I just read at night. But I figure I'll just pick this YA, Sorcery of Thorns, because I tend to binge read YAs more at night if I like get really into them. So I will plan on trying to only read this at night when the sun goes down for some reason but it's also on the booktube SFF shortlist for YAs. Not that I plan on voting in that category, but it was also on a favorites list for a lot of booktubers I like. So excited to get this one in. Now, one of my last class, I'm pretty sure, yes, it is my last class, is Arithmacy. And I'm going to use my book club's book, and that is Women Talking. And this book is, not only is it outside my comfort zone because it's a novella, but the subject matter is extremely dark, I feel. It's a group of women meeting together to discuss the physical abuse that keeps happening to all of them. It's like a secret meeting and they're trying to get together and... Uh, well, anyways, at least it's only 200 pages, but I'm both very intrigued and scared of it. So definitely outside my comfort zone, so that's going to be good for arithmancy. Now, I do have a few other books that are not on my OWLS TBR, but I still really want to get to. The first of which is Gideon the Ninth. 
Now this is on the science fiction and debut shortlist, which I've read almost everything else in, so I really want to get this one read so I can vote in both of those categories. And if you're new here, I love N.K. Jemisin, and her new book just came out, and I bought it because I have, I don't know, it's a big deal. If you're new here, it's a big deal that I bought a book. And I'm just so excited to get to this. The premise seems so fun. It's a bunch of people who are suddenly like personifications of the city of New York and they have to save the gay day. Because if you can't tell, there's like tentacles on the cover as I like rotate it. Ah, I'm for sure getting to this one. It's really just a me thing. I just really want to read it. I also want to continue my read of The Wheel of Time. So Dragon Reborn, it's up. I'm going to get to it. I feel pretty good that it's less than 800 pages, so I'm pretty sure I can do it. And the last one on my TBR for the month is actually going to be a buddy read, and I'm pretty excited. I'm going to read it with Infinity Tomes, and it's Priory of the Orange Tree. This is the last book I need to read for the fantasy section of BookTube SFF, and it's a chonker, and also one that, like, I don't know, it hasn't spoken to me, so having a buddy read makes me more excited to pick it up. And so, yeah, and, you know, make new friends, BookTube. <laughs> So yeah, this is my Owl's April TBR with BookTube SFF twist. And yeah, I'm really excited. Comment if you've read any of these things so I can get pumped up, if you liked it at least. I guess if you didn't like it, that's also good. It will set my expectations at a reasonable level. But yeah, also like and, you know, maybe subscribe. I don't know. Your, your call. <laughs> but yeah, I just hope you're having a great time and are excited about some books on your TBR. Bye.